Playing off the cushion is always a problem. Even top professionals are missing blocks like this if the cue ball is off the cushion. The trick is never to leave yourself on the cushion for a block like this. Hello and very warm welcome to another video. I'm Brando, EBSA assistant head coach and world snooker coach. When you play off the cushion, you need to rise your butt a little bit to have a good strike on the white and you need to rely on good technique here really. Striking the middle of the white ball is essential and if you keep your head still and if you keep your grip relaxed, that will help you. When you practice shots off the cushion, I put the cue ball really tight on the cushion because then in the game, if the cue ball is, let's say, one ball away from the cushion, you would feel positive about the shot because you practiced from tight of on the cushion. And then you have one ball distance and you feel like, oh, that's great, I have one ball distance from the cushion, I've practiced from tight on the cushion. So that's why I put the cue ball very tight on the cushion here. Then you go down on the shot. Now you rise the butt of the cue slightly, but I mean really slightly. And my tip is brushing the cushion now. So I'm actually hitting the cushion first, then the cue ball. Keep everything still. You hit the ball, nearly missed it. The big pockets of the shender table helped here. And remember that when you play from the cushion, you need to keep the shot positive. You don't want to strike this very slowly. That will not help you. So you go down, you rise the butt just a little bit, just a fraction. I'm hitting the cushion first here. Everything's still. You hit the ball, you keep your head still. Good pot, good on the red. You can continue the break and clear the table. Many thanks for watching. See you next time.